Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's makeup look that I am doing is a strawberry ice cream costume makeup. So to start off, I am priming my face with the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer and then going in with some MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation and just buffing that into the skin. Next I'm going in with my RCMA No Colour Powder just to set it all in place. Then I am taking my Snazaroo face paint palette and I am showing you here that I was going to do a mint green ice cream on the top of my head but I decided to go in with some pink because I thought it looked way more cute and now I'm just drawing squiggly lines all over my face to create the drips. So next step I'm just filling in the entire top half of my face with the same pink face paint. Then going in with my Morphe buffing brush I am just buffing all of that face paint into my skin so that it looks nice and flat. Next up I'm taking this Morphe Hot Pink Eyeshadow and I'm just tapping that on the outer perimeter of my face just to add some dimension. Going in with that same eyeshadow and placing that on top of all the drips. Also placing that in the crease of my eye. And then with the same eyeshadow, just outlining all of the drips to make them appear 3D. Alrighty, so I'm taking the Chi Chi OMFG eyeshadow palette and using that hot pink shade from their palette to outline the drips even further. Next step, I'm taking this light pink shimmery eyeshadow and just placing that in the middle of my forehead and along the bridge of my nose. Then going in with the hot pink eyeshadow from Chi Chi and I'm just filling in my eyebrows and adding some more dimension to the crease of my eyes. And then also placing that light pink eyeshadow on my eyelid and in a corner of my eye. Alrighty, so I'm taking the NYX Cosmetics Contour and Highlight Palette and just using a combination of the brown shades to start adding some shadow underneath the drips and this will help it seem more 3D when people look at you. So I'm just adding the shadow underneath the curves of the drips. Now wherever you add the shadows, you must also add a highlight on the opposite side. So that's what I'm doing now, just with some white face paint and then blending it out so it looks more seamless. Thank you. 
So I decided that I wanted to do a two tier ice cream on my face so I am wiping away some of the pink with a makeup wipe and just creating where I'd like the drips to go. Then I take the white Snazaroo face paint and just start filling in where I'd like the white ice cream to be. Then I'm just taking a paintbrush and really defining the drips on my forehead. And same goes with the pink, you just want to add some shadow. So I'm taking a dark pink eyeshadow as the ice cream is pink, so the shadows will be pink. Now I'm just taking some red eyeshadow and creating a cherry on my forehead. So you just draw a circle, add some highlight, some shadow and the stem. That is when I'm admiring my work. <laughs> so now I'm just taking some bright coloured eyeshadows from the Chi Chi Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and just adding some sprinkle looking things. If you were more creative you would add real ones but I didn't feel like going and getting them. So now I'm just taking the same pink uh, face paint and just dabbing that on my lips. And there we go. Whack up the hair, draw some crisscrosses on your neck for the waffle cone. Take a long time doing this. <laughs> So this is the final look that I created for you guys today. It is inspired by Desi Perkins. So if you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel and I will see you on the next one. Bye!